Warren's now going to show us the positions in the blocks. Again, they're very similar to a three-point start. We just now have four points of contact with the ground. We're using the lane line as a point of reference. Fastest way from point A to point B is a straight line, so we always want to have that reference in there. And anytime we can use that in practice, that's a good thing. We want to make sure that the shoulders are not in front of the hands at any point, that we're not moving our center of mass past the hands. We're also making sure that when the hips come up, come up for me, come up a little bit higher, that we've got a nice straight line through there and this angle is correct. All right, so Warren's gonna do a start for us. Again, I'm gonna put my finger right here so his shoulders don't move in front of the hands. It's just a nice point of reference for him to know whether the shoulders are sliding forward. So come up and up in the set. All right, again, 90 degrees in the front, 120 in the back and go. So one of our biggest focuses on the block start is to be able to pull this back leg as low and tight to the, to the ground as we can through the initial movement. The fastest way from here to there is a straight line. So we don't want to loop this foot up behind the rear end. We want to keep it nice and tight. So Warren's going to come up in the set position and he's really going to focus on pulling this leg. And go. All right, next point of focus for us is what are our hands doing? Our hands dictate so much about our legs that they can have a negative or positive effect on how we come out of the blocks as well as how we can run. When we're pushing out, Warren's right hand is coming forward, right? It's mimicking that left foot. His left hand is going backwards. It's mimicking the right foot. It's pushing. The biggest thing that we like to teach at Georgia is that we want a nice tight motion. We don't want long hands because they're long levers and long levers are slow levers. So as you see Warren come out, notice how tight the hands are in both front and back. We're looking for a nice tight angle both front and back. All right, go. Good. All right, so for the young athletes that find the triple extension out of the block very difficult. So we're talking about the front leg being here at 90 degrees and that athlete creating enough force with this front leg in order to find full extension ankle, knee, and hip, and hip being the most important, find full extension and find this position out of the blocks. This is a drill we like to do with those young kids. It's a great drill. You can do as many reps as you want. You can start practice with this. You can do it every day if you want. So we really like this drill. So Warren's gonna come up here. He's gonna find a 90 degree angle with his front foot or front leg. He's gonna put as much of his weight as he can on that ball of his foot and he's gonna find full extension through here, okay? Hopefully at about a 45 degree angle because that's what we want out of the blocks and fully extend with the hands, let the ball go at the end. The weighted part of it makes it simulate what we're trying to do out of the blocks. So Warren's gonna go ahead. Very nice. So wanna make sure that as we're doing it, when he's here, the motion is one of extension, not roll, and fall forward, okay? We really want to push off that front leg so that it's one motion of extension. 